Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the Simplify brush. So we're going to keep it simple. Open up your Blender and do New File General. And let's save it as Simplify. And let's set up Suzanne for sculpting. We can do our matte cap and go ahead and do any color you want. And put on some multi-resolution. Subdivide four or five times. I'm going to subdivide five. And let's flop over into sculpt mode. And let's grab our Simplify brush. And this one works really well if you turn on your wireframe so you can actually see what's happening here. But if we do simplify, notice if we go in here and start clicking, nothing is happening, nothing at all. We still got our radius, we still got our strength. You know, maybe what if we what if we turn up our strength? Still, nothing. Turn up the size, nothing is happening. Hold shift. We got some smoothing, but that's about it. So if we go into our tools here, notice we don't have anything new. Or fun, just your regular, you know, hardness and and auto smooth. But the only way that Simplify works is if we're using dynamic topology. So dynamic topology, if you didn't see in the other lesson, is a very destructive way to sculpt. Uh, but it essentially lets Blender create geometry for you while you're sculpting, so you never run out of geometry. Uh, but um, I don't want you to get in the habit of using it, but for this lesson, let's do it. So we're going to turn on dynamic typology. It's going to say, "Hey, you've got a generate, you've got a uh, modifier for the multi-res, and you've got some vertex data." And I'm going to say, "Okay, that's fine," and it'll go ahead and ignore that. You know, see, not supported in dyn typo or dynamic typology. So let's just delete that. And then in this one, this little triangle, this is our object data type. We've got UV maps, and it's just saying that there's a UV map here. So you can delete that if you want that warning to go away. But anywho, we are now in dynamic topology, dyno, dyno topo. And if you click down, you can change the resolution. So less is more in this case, and more is less. So say, for example, we used the simple draw brush, and we started drawing lots of polygons and faces here, right? Or maybe we even went in here, and we change it to like, change it up to like three and do some drawing. Notice, look how many, look how many triangles. This is crazy. So we're adding so much detail, but maybe sometimes, you know, you've done a lot of detail in a certain part of the mesh, uh, maybe for a certain reason, but you're like, you know what? I don't need like all of these triangles, all of these tiny, tiny, tiny triangles around here. So that's when the simplify brush would come into play again, only in dyn topo or dynamic topology. So if we do simplify and click and drag, Notice it's still doing the same thing. Um, it's still adding like high amounts of resolution. And that's because we have to change this up here. So we could do like 12. And so what this will do is it will keep your original volume of the shape you've sculpted, but it will take down the amount of triangles. So notice if I do that, okay, looky there. So that's looking better, maybe a little too extreme. So I'm gonna undo that. We went from three to maybe, maybe like nine. So from three to nine. Now, if I click here, notice we're getting the same shape that we had, but we're just simplifying. It's almost like the decimate as a sculpt brush, the decimate modifier that lowers your poly count. It's that in a brush form is the easiest way I can think to, to describe it. And notice where these low poly triangles are because we have the the detail size set to nine, it's actually going to, instead of simplifying these, it's actually going to just add geometry. It's not changing the shape of the model at all. It's just adding more triangles. So that is the simplify brush. It, it can actually simplify your wireframes or it can, you know, add more detail to your wireframes depending on what you're trying to do or what you have your detail size at. So that is the Simplify Brush. Really, you're going to use this if you're doing like super detailed sculpts, which I hope you will be very soon. And, you know, you make something just way too heavy like this, you know, you're just like, well, that is just too much. So in that case, you know, you just crank it back up. Maybe the nine come in here and say, OK, I got the shape and the look that I want, but I need to just cut down some of this file size and some of the, you know, the heaviness that's on my computer by getting rid of some of these unnecessary polygons or triangles. So there you go. So that is the Simplify Brush. Hopefully that helps. And again, remember, you can only use this in dynamic topology. It does nothing if you're using the multi-res. So.
that is the lesson for today. Let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson, which is the mask brush.